You probably remember back in January, the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office unexpectedly lost one of its deputies. Deputy First Class John Bruhn passed away after going into cardiac arrest. After his passing, his family started the John Bruhn Law Enforcement Canine Foundation in hopes of purchasing a new canine for the Sheriff's Department. Now, through several fundraising events, including a few that Sean Stryker and I guest bartended at, the foundation was able to raise more than $13,000. And in April of this year, they purchased a German Shepherd Belgian Malinois mix. His name is Bruhn, in memory of Deputy Bruhn. After months of training in North Carolina, Broon has finally made the move to its new home here in Salisbury. The Marble Life Show Striker is with K9 Broon and his handler deputy John Seshpin. They join us now in Salisbury. So, uh, Sean, this is awesome. It's not only a great tribute to John, but it's a wonderful thing for the county. Yeah, Jimmy, Deputy John Bruhn, he loved dogs, and the, the Sheriff's Department here was actually operating a few dogs short, so Bruhn here, he's laying down well. He's going to do a lot to fill that void. I'm here with Deputy John Sheshpin, who is Bruhn's handler, as well as the supervisor of the K-9 unit, uh, Deputy J.C. Richardson. J.C., I want to start over here with you. So with this dog, Bruhn here, um, the community came together uh, to remember one of the loved deputies here, and we bought this dog. How big of a deal is that for you guys? Oh, it's a huge deal. We can't thank the community enough. We can't thank Miss Debbie Brune enough. Uh, we've been operating a couple of dogs short now for some time. The dogs are extremely expensive, and we've just not had the funding to be able to support the dog. Yeah, so it's great that everyone got together and raised the money. Now, what kind of dog is Brune? Well, uh, Brune down there, canine Brune, is a uh, Belgian Malinois crossed with a German Shepherd. You get the best of both worlds. You get the sense of the German Shepherd, and you get the high drive of the Belgian Malinois. So I thought it's pretty funny. He is, he's trained in a different language. Is that <laughs> he is, sir. And if you can imagine our country, uh, country talk, trying to talk a different language, he's trained in Czechoslovakia. <laughs> a lot smarter than I am, aren't you, bro? <laughs> now over to the handler here, uh, uh, Deputy Sheshman. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So this is your first time working on the K9 unit. Why is that something you wanted to do? Well, I've always uh, been interested in the K9 unit, and uh, I spent about nine years in investigations, and it was, it was just about time to come back out onto yeah. patrol and uh, this opportunity came up and uh, the timing was perfect. Uh, the opportunity to be Bruins handler, this dog is, is very special in a lot of ways, so I really wanted to take advantage of that and uh, the timing and everything just worked out perfectly. I mean, guys, take a look at this video we have of Bruin training. Uh, what goes into training a dog like Bruin? Uh, a lot of things for him. The main thing for him is that uh, he, he thinks he thinks it's it's playtime, and mm -hmm. uh, we take advantage of that and pair it with his training. And uh, he he starts to learn uh, to do different things paired with his toy and his training. So um, it can be intense at times, uh, but. That's what he loves to do. So what kind of dog is he? What is he trained to do? Uh, Brun is a dual purpose dog. He's trained to uh, search for narcotics. He's also trained to uh, track people and uh, of course his aggression and bite work. So you started working with him a couple weeks ago. Yes. Uh, but the work is not over. It's far from over. No. What, what happens now? Uh, well, me and Brun will go through about four weeks of training together here in Wicomico County. Um, he's been training his entire life. Uh, me, on the other hand, I have not been training to be a canine <laughs> handler my entire life. So uh, we'll get together and uh, we'll We'll do about four weeks here and then we'll be able to hit the streets. And he's sitting down now. He's a, he's a great dog and he lives with you. He does, yes. And so he's he's relaxed, he's chilled out, but you know when it's time to go to work, he knows when it's time to go to work. Oh, absolutely. He he it's a light switch. I mean, it, and like I said, it to him in his mind it's a game. So, uh, he can he can turn that switch in a heartbeat. Well, the John Bruin Canine Foundation did a lot of uh, fundraising to raise uh, raise funds to buy Bruin. And we're hoping to get another one before the summer's out. Is that going to be a, a help for you? as well that's gonna be a huge help that will put us up to just about full staff well that's great news hey Bruin I don't know if you know this but I actually guess bartended to help buy you so <laughs> you know if you see me out be nice to me <laughs> <laughs> want to learn more about the John Bruin canine foundation go to our website WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page you can help raise money for the next dog and you can also find a link to follow Bruin here on Facebook he's quite the celebrity in Wicomico County Jimmy and Lisa, I'll send it back to you guys. Look at Brune down there. <laughs> yeah, we poured a lot of beer for Brune. <laughs> <laughs> Brune's part of the family. Yes. So, canine Brune and Deputy Seshpin aren't the only ones who are getting in on the training. Up next on Delmarva Life, we are getting a lesson on pesto. You think it's just for pasta? Nuh uh. Wait till you hear all of the pesto abilities. And later, the ads claim Clear TV offers free digital and HD signals so you can watch your favorite shows. 
see how well it delivers as we put it to the test. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.